Right now, I'm going to speak to you. Yes, you that is working in healthcare. I will address the elephant in the room, the stress that you receive once or twice every day or every week. You are dealing with some of the hardest choices you might have had in your entire life. And you don't have the answers to. There is a lot of uncertainty and change in the line of business that you are in right now. Priorities, equipment, and the employer's guidelines, or the lack of guidelines. Thank you, you, for still standing. It's imperative what you are doing right now. How are you? Do you feel worries? Do you feel worn out? Frustrated or sad? Is there also a feeling of fighting spirit and lust? Then this session is for you. You who is right now working in the most important and hard work there is, healthcare. After spending 17 years talking to over 3,000 people, letting them share the deepest and darkest worries, problems and issues, I now have the great honor of working with meeting people where they are, in the middle of their crisis, conflicts, stress, sadness or worries. My part is to comfort, give hope, motivate and support. Today I want to speak to you. Yes, you. A man approached me one day when I was working a couple of years back. He was six foot five, he was breathing heavily with his shoulders and rapidly sat down in the chair I had in the office. As soon as he was seated, he shouted, please let it be Friday, please let it be Friday. I looked at him and said, what's happening on Friday? He sighed and said, well, on Friday, I finally get my extra day off. Sometimes our work is demanding that we get to feel what he was feeling. Maybe, and just maybe, you are in that situation right now. Stress comes when we have a problem that we can't fix. He had that on his job. I have a thesis I formulated for many that I worked with, and I want to give it to you right now. We are wonderful problem solvers, us humans. But when there is a problem we are trying to solve, and do everything in our way to solve it, and don't succeed, then we get stressed. Work environment and work tasks are now put to the test and used in all possible ways. These two factors that often create stress is work environment and work tasks. There are another five factors that makes us fall, but I'm not going to address them today. Work environment is everything around the work task. How we collaborate, working hours, expectations, how the workload is divided, how it's looking, demands and goals. When we are forced at work, it is very easy to turn on each other and against the leaders. We lose the sense of being connected as a unit. We want to know who should have done what, the schedule, what will it look like. Irritation is now a fact. You are tired. Then decide here and now not to fall into that trap. Work tasks are many. The shifts are long. You might have been subject to a transfer from one word to another. So your work tasks have changed. How was that? Of course, are they challenging and hard? A higher tempo and new expectations? You are immensely tired 
when the shift is over, both in your head and your body, but also slightly roast. You are understaffed, you are going on a double shift and have to find new solution. It feels like you have to be gear or get loose every day. Of course you will be worn out. Decide to be satisfied when you go home. You have done the best you can. Thoughts we hear in healthcare right now. When should we use protective materials and what rules apply? Is there what we need to protect ourselves and others? How should I be able to work so many shifts without getting leave? Who is carrying the virus? Is it my colleague or the person I should care for? Or maybe the one I was visiting a few days ago? Can I be punished if I make the wrong decision? I'm afraid. When should we be tested? I am a risk group and expose myself to danger at work. It is possible that some of these create stress and worries to you. In all the stress at work, it is important to keep calm. It is important for you at this moment and it's important for you in the long run. As the thoughts start and runs away, find some way to interrupt them. Start talking to someone, go out, turn on music, or focus on breathing. Avoid to believe everything you think. It's about managing stress. It's also important that you avoid inciting each other in your workplace. But meet, meet each other with kind eyes, calm breathing. Avoid the use of words like chaos, crisis and disaster to each other. A pat on the shoulder is insignificant. Encourage one thing at a time. We will make it today. We do not guess what will be next week or in a few months. Together we go down way forward. You are not alone in this. You are a whole team. Everything does not rely on you. A client sat down with me and cried. She said, I have 31,000 emails in my inbox. We live with the digital stress in the midst of everything. We are constantly connected and expected to keep up with everything that is happening around us and around the world. It's time to opt out as much as possible from that information during a specific period in life when you are under a lot of stress. The mobiles offer way too much of this. A worried teenager mom contacted me and said, I have push notes from the newspaper on the phone. I said, oh, so you are the first in Sweden to find out if a murder happened in Stockholm? She lowered her eyes and said, yes. Maybe I should remove it. I nodded. Do you feel worried? Turn off the information. Remove apps for a while. Disable push notifications. It is inhuman to get everything done in a time of pressure. Ask your close ones to call if anything is important that they need to share. You cannot always be reachable. Be able to respond to messages and read promotional emails. Don't read all the news, you can't handle it. It's likely that some days you fight the tears or you just let them come. It is quite natural for a wave of sadness to sweep over us when we are in difficult situation. It's fine. Let them run. It's good for you. Unpleasant situations arise 
when you have to prioritize your value. Reject a relative or comfort a scared person. You should then think about the core you have inside yourself. That is a powerful center that you have cared for and that is stuck there since you chose this profession. Bring out your professional pride. When we experience a stressful situation, it is helpful to think, what can I influence today? What do I have power over right now? And act upon it. Try not to get caught up in what you cannot influence. It will tire you tremendously if you go that way. Avoid to think far ahead. It's easily connected to the feeling of escaping. To have the thought, I quit. It is difficult and it is uncomfortable. But please, please do not escape. Stand tall. This day, when you watch this session, it's either a working day for you or a free day of work. If you have been working all day or all night, make sure you rest now. Take the easy step. Do things that are associated with recovery. Eat something. Take a shower or why not read a newspaper. Cuddle with your child or your pet. Rest. Go to sleep early as possible. Is this the day off? Then rest. Do something. If so, then it's time to do something really nice. Pick up something in the day that are common to you. Eat, take a bike ride, greet a good friend, go and swim, play golf or guitar. Eat again. Go to bed early as you can. Don't stretch time. Sleep can easily be disturbed in times of stress. Be careful with your sleep now. First, remove the smartphone and the tablet from the bedroom. It does not belong there. Protect your sleeping space from impressions. Put it a few feet outside the bedroom, another room even. If you wake up in the middle of the night, then you should not check the clock or the phone. It just makes you more stressed. You get light in your eyes and start counting. One, two, and three. Do everything you can to make the bed comfortable. Add some more pillows. One between your, between your knees, maybe. Use a dark cover. Change the sheets. Listen to a really boring audiobook. I want to encourage you. You have an important role in healthcare now in a different time. Everything you do in large and small for the person you care for has significance and makes a difference for her or him and for how you will manage it in the long run. Transform the power of this challenge to evolve to become even sharper in your profession. Look at others, how they do. Do not join the complaints choir. This time can provide you with unmatched tools for the future of your profession. The looks you give to the sick, the handshakes, the attentiveness and voice mode have an importance. You are priceless. Yes, indeed. Sometimes you get the thought that it is hopeless. But no, it really is not. It is in difficult situations, difficult times, in difficult decisions that hope really makes itself known. Then life comes close and it is worth standing there, sweaty and with tears in your eyes, but with a determination to work hard for the best. You are a hero.